Hey everyone, this is Jocelyn and welcome back for more The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Alright, so from the previous episode, we found Yama and then we fought with the giant alongside with Yama. And I don't know where Yama is waiting for me because from the previous episode, he mentioned to Geralt that he will be waiting for me in a place and I've forgotten where is that place. Yeah. A few moments later. Okay guys, I have watched my video about the previous episode and he mentioned he will be meeting me on the beach near the port. I wonder where is that place. Um, let's go to, to the port then. Maybe here. Yeah, let's go. Get, get away from here. Okay. That giant fight on the previous episode wasn't that tough. <laughs> okay. Now we have killed that giant. I wonder who will go and feed the guy that we have talked to on the previous episode on the boat. Uh, okay, here. I guess he has to look for his own food by himself. Where is the signboard? Any signboard here? Yes. Can I go and loot items from this? Okay, no. Oh, those creatures are so scary. Um. Yeah. Go to this place. Fast travel. Oh, Yama is indeed here. Hey, hey, hey. I'm here. Let's talk. <laughs> Gonna head back to Art Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onrik, and lost my entire crew. Mm -hmm. Who else has put forth a claim? Blue Boy Lugos, surely. And Otrig, Svanriga, and Ceres. Ceres? Ah, uh, Ceres. But she's... Surprised everyone. Surprised everyone. And da? Uh, did he support her? Let her set off on some mad expedition? Wasn't pleased. Especially since Ceres didn't mention it to him beforehand. Nor to me. Okay, she sailed off for Sp Speaker Rook or Spiker Rook? She sailed off to Speaker Rook. Oh, Speaker Rook. <laughs> What on earth was she thinking? Set out to help Udelwick. Don't think she can do it. Oh God, Ceres. Ceres. Uh, Witcher, you wouldn't happen to be heading to Speaker Rogue by chance? I'm going there now, yes. Yeah, I plan to go there. I am going there now. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. I hope we meet again. Farewell, I'm great. Yes, I hope you are doing well. Ah, Geralt. How are things? Uh, you and Siri grew up together? Yeah, I wanna ask you this. You and this. Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye, spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. <laughs> but her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival her. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? <laughs> Aye, we had twelve winters on us, both. Any thought of continuing with that romance? <laughs> me dad whipped it out of me head. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Oh, he will fall in love with Siri if he sees her now. <laughs> okay, planning another voyage. A Got voyage. Another voyage in mind. Of course. A voyage. Ice giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horns already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were going to help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. 
Sarah's will take care of that. Okay. Take care. Farewell, on crate. Ooh. This place is totally run down. Okay, mushroom. Good thing I free VG. VG or VG. <laughs> he likes laughing. Okay, so let's head back. <laughs> I'm not jumping for a swim, please. Okay. Uh, take helm. Yes. I wanna go to. Okay, the harbor is there. Where is the place? Ah, over there. Okay, fast travel. Later. Yeah, I am here now. Oh, beside this fisherman. Where can I park my boat? Accelerate. Let's park here then. Okay, leave helm. Jump. Um. Okay, this is another island. And beware of bandits in the hills. Oh, another saloon. Okay, Barber. Let me go change my hairstyle again. What can I do for you, traveler? Can you trim my hair? The way it is now, it gets in my eyes. <laughs> I want to. Oh. This barber is helping me to cut hair outside his shop. Nice. Um, long and loose. Loose, not too long. What about this? Long and loose. I wanna see how he looks like. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, loose, not too long. What about this? Okay, I am wasting my 10 crowns on trying to see how Garrow looks like with different... Oh, hairstyle. Okay, name, name. Okay. Never mind, I'm so sorry with my tongue tie, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stick with this hairstyle. This hairstyle looks different. Okay, so long. So long. Wow, he looks so different here. Can I go in? Yes, I can. And this is not his shop, it's just his room. He's staying here. Okay, I am looking for... Okay, here. This room. Okay. We'll be done in a moment. And then... A giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, Oops. it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Ah, <laughs> Gero. <laughs> He looks so handsome from far, with his new hairstyle. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stay here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? 
Mm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Okay, hold on guys. I wanna adjust my camera because it's out of focus. Okay, now I'm good. Right. Uh, what happened to him? Yep. I see something wrong. You must forgive the Jarl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Ah, uh, uh, I don't my know. Camera. Ask around. Great. <laughs> okay, he's trying to throw a ball to me. Okay, hold on. Be right back. Yes, it's good now. It's locked. I don't know. Rest y'all. Think no more of your dreams. You feel bad. I can go in. Hey. Darkness behind you. Darkness before you. I think he must be having a nightmare. I don't know. What is wrong with him? He's asleep. That's quick. Um, Asa, what about you? Respect, Witcher. Friends, we show yeah. our foes. We show our acts. Remember. Oh, you. Darkness behind. Yeah. Darkness behind. Um, let's go and ask those villagers. Old man. Little girl. Omen. I, I mean, where is the person that I need to talk to? Okay. She come yeah. for a reason? Or yes, this woman. Ha! Nary a soul for months, then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler, hungry. Looking for a young woman named Ceres. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her, or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Uh, who are the god? Uh, Thora and Eirik. Who are Big Thora and Eirik? Years okay. ago, Thora Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand? They live toward the east end of the village. Okay. Take care. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Sarah when you see her. Ah! Ask about Sarah. You, fisherman. Let me go and Sorry ask this fisherman. You first. need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. I'm looking for Ceres. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. Oh, he she knows. was here, but I've not seen her away. Okay, take care. Take care. Uh, Let's go and talk to that Torah first. chap you are then truth be told i'm taken but village is brimming with lovely girls 
Lovely, you say? Can I meet up? <laughs> Do you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe you wouldn't be willing to show me around the island. <laughs> well, there's Bea, the lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though, there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face. If not for that bit of bone rod on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. Okay. I'm looking for Ceres. I'm looking for Ceres. A Ceres. Thing. Lovely doe eyes, true. Oh, she's, she's from skinny. an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is. And her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man Ira. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the aisle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck okay. searching. All right, so let's go and find her husband, Eric. Ooh, snow hair. These white rabbits are also here. <laughs> Reminds me of Kara Max. Her, part, her hot tub moment in her home. I don't know why I have goosebumps when I arrive at this place. Okay, find Eric. Eric, Eric. Oh! Ah, I guess must be that guy hiding there. <laughs> nice. Ah, yes. Fucking mule dabbling, swarming like gulls around the waist heap. Bye, be sure we showed them. We. Seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but if not for yes, not warden, hiding. Yes, sitting on top of that rock. <laughs> okay, need your help. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. <laughs> yeah, to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. Aye, fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. I left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. Oh, where did she go? She say where she was headed. Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Okay, why did she ask you about? Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after or just admire the scenery? <laughs> she asked about our Jarl and his family. Okay, thanks. See ya. Thanks. Farewell. And we have to go and find that abandoned home. Where is that abandoned home? Yes. Okay, it's there. Okay, let's call my horse. I don't know why I rarely ride my horse. Hey, hey, hey. Thing for the rabbit. I'm stuck here. 
Okay. Must be this house. Yeah, this one. Ooh, tracks. Seven. Monsters. Saris. <gasps> she died. Passed out. Gotta oh, get her out passed of here. out. Luckily. Got a scar. just awful. Got hit with something heavy. On her face. Cat? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Yeah. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Yeah, why you got in the house? Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It hmm. would have if I'd only found the sword. Okay, why well, so important about so this sword? So what's this sword all about? It's Brokvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelrek and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelrek. But his father gave Bokfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelrek to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelrek to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Uh, something happened on that trip. Mm. They make friends. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelrek had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. Okay. You think he killed his brother? What do you think? Did Udorik kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udorik right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What do you want the sword for? What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long oh. as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Where you get that idea? Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. I don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. Stay Aki wants revenge against him. So you Darren. believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die. Udelric. I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. 
thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Yeah. Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. Yes. Okay, find a sword named Rokwa. Let's see. I think I have to go inside to this building. This water, oh loot, that's a key to the cellar. scary can I okay let's use my magic trap I mean just in case ah must be this loot yes finally I think we have to fight with the ghost you I see about? a shadow this light okay more candles and I guess the ghost won't appear <laughs> okay let's go up I don't know if we need to fight with the ghost Hey, I found it. So, did you find the sword? Yeah, let's go. I found it. Let's go. After you, then. Nice. You and my dad, we were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Krog met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. <laughs> but you have chosen Triss. You and Yennefer are only friends. I wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. <laughs> Look, there they are. Already bright out Oh, I see a baby. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Okay, what happened? What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. 
Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. Hey, about those voices. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. They are under gods. This is about your brother? More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. <laughs> I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. The gods are that cruel. Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead what is rightly theirs. Oh, so adorable. But underneath the rain. <laughs> Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay. Current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Okay. Let's go. Place broke one near Aki's bone. That caught a turd. Didn't he like me hurt? Got a minute. To her again. Everyone's mourning King Brand's death. Sad when someone like Brand dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Brand spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came and there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers. And everyone loved him again. Okay, farewell. Farewell. Okay, we have to go and find Aki's bow. It's over here. I hope we can just go by this way. I hope there's a path for us to get down. I see so many monsters there. I have to go and fight with them. Okay. Shit. No. What 
is this place? Oh, loot. The crude marks, uh, the crude mass marks the spot, but not just any fool can find the treasure. Okay, I got new quest. Not only eagles there. What is this quest? Not only eagles there. I guess must be the yeah treasure hunts, right? Take oh the skull. Okay, let's just swim there. Must be the place. Ah, damn it! I see. Oh, sirens is underneath the water. Okay, one hit and they are gone. Nice one. <sighs> Where is that bone? Spot. Oh my gosh, I need to breathe. Hey, hey, hey. Surface hole. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. There. Only eagles there. This is the one. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Where is Aki's boat? Can I use my visual senses to sense? Ah, here, here. I mean, okay, surface, hole. Please, 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 please. I'm not wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see you, Rick. Yes, time to see him. I want to avoid these creatures. Later. Oh my gosh, he is screaming again. Hey. Why'd you do it? What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Uh, Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Oh my gosh. When did the gods say exactly? Yeah. Oh, what, what did the gods? Did the gods? Yeah. Exactly. Not Do you many remember? Swat. What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye. Suffer. And regret the evil you've wrought. Okay. When the gods talk to you. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. Have you ever seen them? The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. 
Uh, the gods don't like light. Do they always? Uh, okay, this. The gods speak from the shadows. You said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. Okay. Do they always demand an offering of pain? The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. Uh, Ceres, we need to talk. Something's not right. Uh, I returned the, the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Uh, is he the 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 ghost or something? Oh my gosh! Well, know what it is? It's a Heim. Post conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work, in theory. That's the richest way you can try the trick. Okay, this. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. Oh, when it no. realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Um, I might not survive. It's very hard to trick. I don't know if he will get to be survive or not. Okay, this. Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim. Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udalric could just expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? Oh, okay. We can also choose the second option. <laughs> It's very hard to trick the Heim. The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. <laughs> if we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. I think I wanna try the Witcher's Way. What was that about Yennefer? Okay, I wanna ask this first. What is it with you and Yennefer? mentioned her several times already. Exactly. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. <laughs> Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. <laughs> okay. 
guess you're right, Dad. What can I say? So, shall we try trekking it first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Let's go now. No reason to delay. I hope this is the okay choice. <laughs> Search the house and find a way to drive off the high. Okay, I see something red here. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. This must no, it's impossible. be fake, yes. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Ooh. He's trying to trick me. Okay, what about this room? No. Okay, you're here. Thing must be at the cellar. Who shattered this? <laughs> she is also talking about that picture. Okay, any more for me to examine? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. <sighs> okay, I trust you. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? Uh, let's start. I'm ready. Alright, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. I hope she's all right, please. I 
few hours later. Over there! She's run into the old house! Grab her! Take him. Oh. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Huh? Seriously? Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Gonna be a right thing to do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's good. That's not the real one. That's not a real baby. Oh my gosh. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. It's over. Yes! Ooh. Over? <laughs> we tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Yes! Let's get oh out of here. Gosh. I did it, guys! I'm so happy! <laughs> What's happening? Oh. My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Herod, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Uh, what will you do? Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rock? Don't know yet. Gotta yeah. gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be growing impatient. Thought we <laughs> already Yennefer discussed that. Again. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. <laughs> to you too. So long. And please go back to see your father. Okay, this class is done. Unbelievable. I can't believe I have chosen that right choice. I wonder what would happen if I chose the first choice, which is to give the baby to Uderic. Yeah. Can I go inside? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, King's Gambit. Let's see. 
Report to crack and create crack and create to collect your reward. Ah, yeah. With Garrett's help, both Yama and Ceres had defied death and won glory, greatly improving their chances in the race for Skelliger's throne. Krak decided the news was an excellent excuse to host a great feast, during which scouts would sing the praises of the young and crates. Young and crates and tables laden with meat and meat would sway those islanders who were still undecided. Convincing them to support this generous, generous and powerful family. Garrett was also invited to a celebration where he was receive he, he was to receive a token of Krak's gratitude. Nice one. So I guess we have to go and get our reward. Finally, we have helped his children to deal with their problems. So, I have another quest called Black Pearl, but I don't know where is this place. Okay, there's nothing for me to do over there. Over, over there at, at Speaker Wook. Yeah. Okay, it's over there. I think I just go back to the king and collect my reward. Yes. Wait, back. Ah, I wanna try that quest, man. King's Gambit. Okay, this place is clean now. Let's go to the signboard and fast travel. My horse is here with me. <sighs> I'm so glad I did it. Oh, Saris is here. More conversations from her. Moments later. Okay, I am back here. Let's go and call out my reward. for me maybe I'll stop some other time no I want to join this Krach make an exception just for me all know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar today you're one of us oh, um, I'm honored to be one Krach of yours one of you all <laughs> how's the mood in there calm too calm how's that we've an adage here at Skellige at a good feast meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Oh yeah, I just remember Garrett doesn't like banquet. Those bees. <laughs> he told Tris about that. Okay. As much right to it as you did. Oh, she's here. To support me. <laughs> Don't pinch my allies. And if an uncle creates the way of the crown, it should be you. Because you've got fur growing on your chin, that is. <laughs> Show some of your own, and the yarls just may listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Giant slayer. <laughs> Yeah, the 
Zerus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Brother and sisters fight. <laughs> Didn't play that well. Bad way to play it out. I think I don't know that. <laughs> but you saw her, she's so... So... Oh, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus. And they're twins in that regard. Where's Crack? Don't see Crack. Are you talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the bill cards. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Okay. Oh. Best place not worth shine of a weak arm oh. swinging an oh. Wow, I see a lady dancing on the table. <laughs> I think Croc is inside. Let's go. Market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Uh, not we for support. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Oh, Bro, why? My son will not haggle why? for a crown why that is his by right. Far as I know, a crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Okay, got a specific family in mind. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son, and then on to his sons. Okay, what's wrong with voting for the king? What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments, and they behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarns will see the wisdom of it. Okay, leaving Kertrolda. Leaving Kertrolda. Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. <laughs> Thanks. Steven, come. I've been waiting for you. Thank so, you. Feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, the Hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Okay, guessing that's an alter ulterior motive to your hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children. Not torn between Yal Yalma and Saris. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Saris. I mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. Yon great blood flows in both. Yalma isn't too hot tempered to be king. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who sent emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot headed. <laughs> Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yanma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate him here. Could regret it someday. And Skelliger. We spit on the notion of peace at any cost. 
Hey, thanks, Gallagher. We'll listen to a woman. I think yeah. the council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne. If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. <laughs> but today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. She's Others smart too. Plenty. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Yeah, let's talk about my reward. She <laughs> promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here, this bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Ooh. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. <laughs> Oh, what is happening outside? Hear that? Damn it! That must have started another row. That's not Yalmar. Oh, Let's I got go. a new weapon. Faint. It's not Yalmar, Lugos. Oh my gosh! I hope everything is going to be okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, a big bear! Oh my gosh, this place is... Die. Oh my gosh, this place... Oh my gosh... Hey, 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 go, go, go! I wanna run, please, Garrett, run, run and help them. Oh my gosh, these stupid bears have destroyed this place. Oh my gosh, everyone died. Okay. Safe. How about Yama? Cloth! Give me some cloth! Oh, okay. Gotta stop Yama the is okay. Crack! Da. Da. Take oh. my cloak. Hold on, son. Her pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lucas. And now you threaten my son. I will not step to this. Dad, come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog! Calm down! Calm down! Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crete. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Damn, got ourselves a uh, right mess. Anybody see how the bears got in? Yeah, this is the suitable Anybody see how the bears got question. in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait, are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, 
I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Uh... Okay, I'll help you, Ceres. Yeah, I prefer to go with her. She's smart. Right, I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. <laughs> I'll stay here. Oh my god. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. The feast was supposed to be happy, but now it's no, sad. I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Uh, who died? No, who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. Okay, what happened before the massacre? Be what precise. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankards on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They, Bad luck. they were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Let's look We've around. Talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Okay, a salmon. Okay, I need to draw out some items from my inventory. Fate. Okay. Drop this. Drop. A few moments later. Yes. Okay. Let's investigate. Claw marks. Claw marks. Broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Um, any more? Okay, here. Seven. The best. All right. What do we have here? A seven head. Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mm. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bear's like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Tosso. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Lips. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Oh, he knows everything. Half man, half bear. <laughs> huh? Something like a lycanthrope. Under I full moon, see. So something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Oh. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. I see. So these three bears must be... Uh, there are three gases. Yeah, must be. They must have eaten some food that caused them to turn into bears. Okay, smart. Again, I can't 
guys I'm in despair Let's follow the scene. The smell. Oh. Ah, yeah. Must be from this. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. He found some clues. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? Berserkers. The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. Mm. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Got a good idea what causes the transformation. They know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Your it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Okay, ask Hawk to have a look at the mead sample. Okay, let's go. Anything to do with Berserkers? Mardrum related in any way to Berserkers? Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrum were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage, but as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying, you know plants. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dream. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not <laughs> that simple. Oh. We'll wean him off it yet. Okay, never heard of it. Mardrum, never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Haib. Alright, hasn't seen it to soothe pain. 
Ildorek tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Ildorek needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. Okay. We have more clues to search, but I have to stay here for now because I have to go and take my dinner. It's already 8:24 p.m. at night, and I still, and I still haven't eaten yet. So okay, I really enjoy playing for today's episode. We got to help Saris with her problems. We have already helped Uderic with the some kind of like curse. Yeah. And now we have to look for clues. I'll go and check that out on the next episode. And if you guys enjoyed for today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!